Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, Carlos. Hello, Marco. Good hello, evening, hello. teacher. Good evening. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Maria. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Good Marco evening. Antonio. Hello, Ramirez. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Carlos. Welcome back, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for your class? I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Did everybody finish sections number one and two? Did you finish? Yes, I did. You did. Okay, yes, perfect. Did. Perfect. Everybody, Carlos, did you finish section one and two? Finished. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. Claudia Maria, Wendy, Ramirez, did you guys finish? Finish, teacher. One and two. Okay. Okay. Good job, guys. Today, I would like for us to go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to move forward. I would like for us to take Thank a look you, at... I finished. Okay. Excellent, Wendy. Thank you. So we're going to get started from this section over here, uh, which is section number 3.0. Build your English language skills with this lesson on adjectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinions about houses and apartments. Additionally, hello, good evening. You will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use evaluating phrases such as apartments are too small for pets, houses are too expensive, or houses cost too much money. So the topic is houses and apartments. Evaluations with adjectives and nouns. Now, who can tell me what is an adjective? What is an adjective? It's something that describes a thing, a place or a people. Correct, correct. An adjective is a word that describes a person, place, or thing. For example, if I say to you, that is a fast car, what is the adjective? Fast. Excellent. Fast. She is a beautiful woman. What is the adjective? Beautiful. Beautiful. He is a handsome man. What is the adjective? Handsome. Handsome. Excellent. Excellent. So the adjectives basically describes a person, place, or thing, or abstract idea. For example, I had a horrible dream. What is the adjective? Horrible. Horrible. Very good. I had a beautiful dream. What is the adjective? Beautiful. Beautiful. I had a wonderful dream. What is the adjective? Wonderful. 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 I have excellent students. What is the adjective? Excellent. 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 It's a rainy day. What's the adjective? Raining. Raining. It's delicious food. What's the adjective? Delicious. 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 That's a wonderful place. What is the adjective? Wonderful. 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 That's right. That's right. So basically, adjectives describe persons, places, things, 
an abstract idea. Now, I would like for us to go ahead and take a look at these examples. Uh, let's look at the first one. Repeat, apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments aren't big enough, big enough for, families. For, families. for families. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments, apartments are, are too small, small for, for pets. pets. Excellent. Um, what is the adjective? Over here, apartments aren't big enough for families. What is the adjective? Big enough. Big. 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 Apartments are too small for pets. What is the adjective? Small. Too small. Small. Very good. Let's look at comparisons with adjectives. Listen and repeat. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses. Houses. Houses are as convenient as apartments. What is the adjective? Convenient. 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 Uh, listen and repeat. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. Houses are in as convenient as Excellent. What is the adjective? Convenient. 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 Okay, let's watch the video. Uh, please take notes. Please take notes. Put your microphone on silence. Put your microphone on silence. Okay, thank you. And we are going to listen to the video. Please take notes. And then we're going to discuss the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets. But houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives. And particularly, we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, practice this vocabulary. If you're not familiar with them. Uh, listen 
and repeat. Listen and repeat. This is a list of adjectives. Repeat, please. Comfortable. 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 Convenient. Convenient. Dangerous. Dangerous. Dark. Dark. Bright. Bright. Expensive. Expensive. Huge. Huge. Small. Small. Inconvenient. 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 Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. Private. Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Small. Oh. Spacious. Spacious. All right, one more time. Comfortable. 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 Convenient. 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 Dangerous. 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 Dark. 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 Bright. 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 Expensive. Expensive. Huge. Huge. Small. Small. Inconvenient. Convenient. 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 Modern. 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 Noisy. 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 Private. 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 Quiet. 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 Safe. 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 Small. 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 Spacious. 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 All right. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? about the meaning of these words or about the vocabulary or anything like that? Yes. Uh, so uh, in, in Spanish, ma, ma, madre y moderno en inglés, ¿cómo se pronunciaría? Uh, repeat, please. What is the question? For example, uh, in Spanish, uh, mamá, For in inglés, mother. Y, uh -huh. y, y, y en Spanish, moderno, modern, ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ah, sí. Yeah, yeah, ok. We say mother, mother, el final es her, her. Sí. Modern, modern, M-O-D-E-R-N, the pronunciation is n, modern, modern. modern. So al final, modern. you put your modern. tongue modern. at the top, Modern, modern. So, okay. mother, mother, modern, mother, modern, mother, modern. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mother. Mother. Thank you for the question. Another question. Uh, yes. Could you please repeat the pronunciation for the last uh, adjective? Spacious? Oh, yes, of course. Spacious. 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 Thank you. Okay. And then the other one, the other one is small, small. And then this one is safe, 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 safe. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, 
bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious, and I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. Let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments. Then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following. That we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That uh, the verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever. Um, 
now that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces. OK, uh, so the noun is parking spaces. And then you can think of a complement, if you will. So you can include something else there. So for example, uh, what could that be? Don't have enough parking spaces for people, right? That could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses? Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space. Right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will. Right. So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. Right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost. That follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here. And of course, following the formula that I presented. All right, guys. For this activity, you are going to give me at least five examples. To you earlier today. Describing your and I also want you to evaluate describing your, your house using these adjectives. You're gonna come over here where it says añade una publicación, and you're gonna go to evaluations with adjectives and nouns. You're gonna copy that, then you're gonna come over here where it says titulo going to paste it and then here you are going to write five examples describing your house uh, my house is too small for pets or i can say my house isn't big enough, big enough for pets. OK, any questions? Five examples. Then you're going to go in VR. And you should have them there. I will give you five minutes to work in groups. And then you are going to check with the class. Five minutes to work in groups. One can share the screen. And then we will check together. Ready? Let's go.
Hello. Hola, hola. Hola. ¿Qué dijo que íbamos a hacer? Estaremos haciendo un, eh, cinco ejemplos de... de Con los enau y no, 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 sí. y enau. Uh -huh. Con los sí, ejemplos de, de adjetivos con, con el... Ok. Cada uno, digamos uno. Sí, para no. Sí. I start. Okay. My my house is too much small for pets. Uh, too much too, small too, or too. too small? Too small. Okay. Next. Okay. Let me see. My house is comfortable for people. Uh, can you repeat, please? Can you repeat? Okay. My house is comfortable for people. Okay. El mío. My house goes to cost too much money. Only to verify, you said your house costs too much money. Yes. Okay. My turn, I think. Okay. My house aren't big enough for chicken. My house aren't aren't big enough. For um how do you say? Uh, folks or <laughs> for animals uh -huh. for, uh, for pets or for, for pets. pets yeah for pets okay let me see Right, welcome back, welcome back. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, one volunteer. One volunteer, one volunteer. Wendy, 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 let me have your examples, please. Okay, teacher. My my room is very com comfort comfortable and now for me. Excellent. My Thank room you. is very comfortable. Good, good. Another volunteer that wants to give me an example. Another volunteer that wants to give me an example. 
one example. All right, Claudia. My house costs too much money. My house costs too much money. Very good. Excellent. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to stop right here because I got to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please stay present. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. So cuando yo le llame su nombre, por favor diga present. Any questions at this moment? Questions at this moment? Questions no. at this moment? Okay. Uh, today is... This is uh, Adriana. Present. Good job, Adriana. Present. Today is the 26th. Present, okay. Carlos. Carlos. I am here, teacher. Very good. Carlos. Claudia. Present, teacher. Excellent, Claudia. Doribel. Doribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you. Herbert. Herbert is absent. Si ve que su compañero escribe en el chat, me avisa, please. Irma. Present. Excellent, Irma. Isabo. Present, teacher. Very good. Jacqueline Guevara. Jacqueline Guevara. Is absent. Uh, Jacqueline. Sermeo. Jacqueline Sermeo is also absent. Uh, Juan Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Cubillas. Juan Maravilla. I'm here, teacher. Very good, Juan. Carla. Presentation. Good job. Leana. Leana. He is absent. Luis. Luis. Uh, Luis is absent, okay. Marco Quijano. Present. Very good, Marco Quijano. Mar uh, Marco Ramirez. Present teacher. Good job. Maria. Present. Thank you. Marina. Marina Martinez, absent, okay. Uh, Noemi, Noemi, okay, absent. Raul, Raul, thank you. Thank you, Raúl. Teacher, uh -huh. Leana está enviando un, un WhatsApp. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Leana. Thank you. ¿Está presente, Leana? 
Present teacher. Leana. All right, all right. Thank you, Leana. Present, present. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Vamos con René. Excellent. Roberto. Roberto. Absent. Ruth. Here, teacher. Excellent. Saul. Present, teacher. Good job. Wendy. Present, teacher. Awesome. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people absent. All right. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and continue working from the platform. Uh, I see here, okay, there it is. Thank you. We're gonna continue with the next exercise, which is going to be exercise number 3.2. Uh, let's look at using one for questions. According to the audio on section 3.1, apartments, uh, did everybody finish this exercise? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you, yes, Claudia. Teacher. Everybody, yes, teacher. Uh, Ruth, yes, okay. Everybody finished? Okay, let's check. Let me have one volunteer one volunteer for number one. One volunteer, please. Yo, teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, and number one, according to the audio on section 3.1, apartments are too small for pits. Pets, perdón. Pets, very good. Are too small for pets. Are too small for pets. Thank you. Uh, let me have another volunteer for number two. Another, all right, Carla, good job. Um, apartments aren't comfortable enough for family. Very good. Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Thank you. Another volunteer, number three, another one, Claudia. Apartments don't have enough privacy. Very good, apartments don't have enough privacy. Good, good. Number four, and the last one, the last volunteer. Carla. Apartments don't have enough space. Apartments don't have enough space. Good job. Okay. Excellent work, guys. Excellent work. At this moment, do you have any questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of these words. Any question? Any questions? Uh, can somebody describe their house or apartment? Who wants to describe their house or apartment? One volunteer. Somebody that wants to describe their house or apartment. Don't be shy. All right, Saul, go ahead. Go ahead, Saul. You got this. 
my house is it's uh, beautiful enough. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> my house is beautiful. Yes, yes. yes. That's good. And my house aren't big enough for hands. Hands. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Mm. You said, yeah, isn't big enough. Porque isn't. house is singular. My house oh, yeah. isn't. Yes. Uh -huh. My house is, it's an, it's an. Uh -huh. um, and my, my house is uh, okay. My house is uh, too, too, I can say, two. two floors. Yeah, two floors. Two floors, okay. My house is too noisy. All right. It's in the morning. Very noisy. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Saul. Good job. Okay. Good job, Saul. Let's hear Wendy. Um, the bed is small enough for my children. The garden is noisy enough for my pets. Um, the kitchen is very dark for my mom. And my room is very comfortable enough for me. Excellent, perfect. Correct, Wendy, thank you. Another volunteer that wants to describe their home. Or maybe you don't want to describe your home, you want to describe your living room, your backyard, maybe your room, the kitchen, anything that you want to describe about your house. The idea is that you can practice. Who wants to describe? Somebody. We had Saul and Wendy, one more. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Saul. One more. All right, Adriana, good job. Okay, Adriana, go ahead. You can describe your house. Okay, uh, well, my house isn't big, but I think that is an out for, for people. Uh, we don't have a garage, no, a garage. Um, and we have a, a small, a, how do you say happy? A garden. A, we, a small Ga garden. Garden. Uh -huh. Garden. And we have a, a comfortable kitchen. Okay. And that is all. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, Adriana. Sounds like a very nice home. Thank you. Good job. All right. Good participation. Thank you, Adriana. Thank you, Saul, Wendy. Another participant that wants to describe their home. All right. Isabo. My house don't have a no garden space. Okay, my house don't or my house doesn't. Oh, doesn't. Uh-huh, third person singular, doesn't, very good. My house doesn't. Huh? My, how, my house is too small for me. Okay. My house don't have a no good si signal. Uh, 
don't have or doesn't have? Doesn't have. Uh-huh, my house doesn't because it's- Doesn't have. Third person singular. Good my job. My bedroom doesn't have no space. All right, all right. My kitchen doesn't have no forks and spoons. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you, Isabel. Good participation. Good job. Good job. Okay, guys, I know that everybody wants to participate, but we have to continue with the class. You will be able to participate in the next activity. Any questions at this moment with the activities that we have done so far? Any questions at this moment? Okay. I know that everybody wants to participate. Thank you. Let's look at comparing houses and apartments. Just as enough or too much. With adjectives. Listen, please. Listen, please. And express similarities about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to express similarities about your house and your neighbor's house. For example, you'll be able to make the following comparisons. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenience, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there and then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will then it will be followed by as, the adjective, and as. So quick example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive. as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow as or just as. Okay. Actually, um, you can either say just as or you can simply say as and, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. Hey, what do you think? What is your opinion, guys? Do you think apartments 
are as expensive as houses? Or do you think houses are more expensive? Houses are more expensive. Why? Why do you say that, Herbert? Because you see, who's only, uh, maybe because uh, don't, don't need a, a service. Mm -hmm. Service for, for different things. Okay. Okay. Depend, teacher, because in this country the apartment is more expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I teacher, the apartment is I more think, expensive. Yeah, depends. Depends. Mm -hmm. Apartment is more expensive. Mm -hmm. I think it depends. Is, it depends if you buy it, you buy it um if you pay a credit, you are paying more than a house or more. It's expensive the house, and if if you pay a uh, apartment, how do you say? In, um, well, I think honestly, I you, think. Uh huh. So. Yeah. I uh, think depends because. Uh, uh, of location because apartments in the center of city is too much, too much expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed that in El Salvador, it's relative. For example, here in Escalón, you can see some houses, some apartments, $300,000 for an apartment. And you look for a house, $350,000. So it's the same thing. I think, I think that in El Salvador, it's more about the location. Yes, Ruth. Yes, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice alquiler? Rent. Rent. Okay, okay. Uh, the apartment, uh, rent. Um, mm, one thousand eh, dollars. That's Apro right. Aproximadamente. That's right. That's right. So it depends. Depend it depends on the area, right? Yeah. In, El, in, in El Salvador, it depends a lot in the area. Yes, Doribet. Eh, Doribet. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward and finish the video. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses apartments are as yes excuse me uh, a question yes Carlos uh, what is what is as between um, there to be an uh, adjective uh, as as yes, yes. Uh, as and then you have as, otra vez. You have as acá y as acá. Eh, es como cuando tú dices, por ejemplo, eh, you say McDonald's is as delicious as Burger King. Eh, estás expresando que McDonald's es igual de delicioso como Burger King. Si tú quieres decir, por ejemplo, yo soy igual de alto como de mi papá, vas a decir, I am, I am, I am as tall as my dad. Right? Tú dices, yo soy igual de alto como mi papá. O tú dices, eh, McDonald's 
is as delicious as a Wendy's, for example. Right? Ahí digo, McDonald's es igual de delicioso que Wendy's. So, el as eh, se usa dos veces y en medio va el adjetivo. Eh, delicious, tall, expensive. Y después va otra vez el as, quiere decir igual a, y el otro objeto que estás comparando. Teacher, uh, is it used only for comparison? Correct. Is used only for comparison two times. Okay. Correct. Good question. Um, Another. When we use the phrase as soon as possible, it's oh, not the same. That's a phrase. Uh -huh. That's a, as soon as possible. But, but here we are not uh, making a comparison, right? This is what we call a phrase, phrase fragment, something you can't separate. But yes, you use it in this example as well. Another question. Another question? Sure. Hi. I have yes. a question. Yes, go ahead. What is the difference just ask and ask? It's the same. It's the same. The pronunciation is the same. Only the spelling changes and the context but it's the same, same pronunciation. Thank you, Isabo. Another question. Teacher, when I, I say, um, McDonald's is más barato que, que, que el Wendy es un ejemplo, mm -hmm. o una comparación eh, negativa, Solo le vamos a poner el don't. Uh, y siempre va a llevar as to has. Correct. Correct. Okay. Okay. Si yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, McDonald's no es igual de caro que Wendy's. Uh -huh. Vamos a decir McDonald's. McDonald's. Isn't. As. Expensive as uh, eh, Burger King, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Ahí solo le ponemos el verbo to be en negativo. En negativo. Correct. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Correct. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead. Yes. When it, when it's singular. When it is singular. Correct. When it's plural, we say are or aren't. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good. All right, let's listen. Ashes as houses. Apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right? As houses. And so remember that this kind of things, you're making comparisons. So maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses so they cost the same you know they are as big as houses uh, apartments are as convenient as houses etc usually that's not the case usually there are big differences among houses and apartments but in this case we're saying that they are the same what I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons but this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns and what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms. Okay, guys, it's already time to go. So we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Please continue working on the platform and advance as much as you can. Does anybody have any questions in regards to this topic right now? Okay, okay these are questions. Okay, okay. 
Who said they have a question? Somebody? Okay. All right. We're going to stop and we will continue tomorrow. Good night, guys. I see you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good Thank night. you. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Enjoy, enjoy the rain. Thank you. you too. Yes, I will. I like to hear when I go to sleep. Bye. Bye-bye.